Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another uh, video of Trig Limits. So this one's a beauty. Um, this involves, uh, it's a little bit different than the other ones. You know, ultimately our goal still is to be able to have something that looks like that in the end. But this one is not always obvious. We could, you know, if you wanted to, I don't know if this would be the meth best method, but you might try by dividing top and bottom by X. That would be a method. But I think the most obvious thing to do here. Uh, will be to multiply by the conjugate. If you go back to when we did um, uh, limits of algebraic functions and rational functions and all the other stuff, um, we use this method quite a bit where we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. So it helps eliminate stuff and helps make life a lot easier. So we have uh, the conjugate here, it's just square root of x plus 1 plus 1. So we don't want to get fancy or anything like that or try to multiply everything out and see what cancels. We're just going to keep it simple. And so the top part, we're just going to leave completely alone for now and just be patient and wait and see what happens. So x plus 1 and plus 1. And then the bottom, we used conjugate, so a squared minus b squared. So that ends up being um, you know x plus 1 and then minus 1 squared or 1 squared, so minus 1. And so we end up with the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x, x plus 1, plus 1, all over x. So if you look here closely, I actually have this guy right here. So there it is. So I can rewrite this guy just to make it a, a lot more obvious to myself. And to the person that's correcting my paper that I understand, that's what I'm trying to do. So sine x over x. So that itself, the limit of that guy just by itself is 1. And then all we need to do for this guy is literally just sub, you know, 0 in for where I see x. So the limit of sine x over x is 1. And then... Just according to that, our k value is 1. And then for this guy, I just need to sub in 0 where I see x. So I got 0 plus 1, then plus another 1. So the square root of 1 is 1. So I have 1 times 1 plus 1, so 2. Or I end up with this, just 2. So you get something that looks kind of complicated at the beginning, and it works out perfect. So again, a method, another method that we can use, we talked about some methods we use, common denominator, uh, dividing by x, another one we can use is the conjugate. Hope this helps, and I will talk to you guys later.